Hi guys, uh, I'm here to help you with uh, Math 211 Assignment 1. So this is just going to be a basic video through, uh, basic walkthrough video through uh, the assignment uh, one and how to do it. Um, now note, uh, I'd, I'd just like to make a quick note that I am using Tenti's notes. There are multiple ways to solve these problems and I'm sure each and every one of us has a different method but the way I'm going to be solving it, I'll explain it to you all, but it's going to be using Tenti's notes, uh, which are online. Uh, I, I know the prof uses some different methodology. Please, I, I, I do think you should use what you're more comfortable with, but this is just uh, for the people who do might not have that strong of a foundation for, uh, uh, for uh, the first few chapters, and I, I hope to provide the foundation using this these couple assignments, just a basic tutorial. And please note, if I do make a mistake, let me know in the comments. Uh, because obviously I, I wouldn't, I'm not making anything intentionally. I'm using the solutions actually, uh, looking at them just to clear, uh, make sure my answers are all right. So hopefully, uh, yeah, this will go well. So let's start with question number one. So that's basically uh, the IVP of dy by dx, uh, which is equal to minus 2y plus e to the negative x. Now, when you look at an equation like this, you directly get the sense that it, it well, when I look at an equation like this, I, I generally um, look at a certain equation that we were taught, which was x, uh, derivative of x plus uh, p of t of x uh, times x is equal to r of t. Now, if you notice, um, this, that's an r. This um, equation can actually be com written in a uh, form that resembles this, obviously without the x and t's. Uh, so if we just take the two y, a negative 2y to the other side, this equation does become into dy by dx. Um, plus 2y is equal to e to the negative x. Now, if you notice, the form of this is quite similar to it could be written as y prime plus p to the power of x multiplied by y equals r x, where p of x is equal to 2, and r of x is equal to e to the negative x. Quite simple. Um, note that I know uh, uh, some people might be confused why how this can be a function of x. We can always say 2 is equal to 2 times x to the power of 0. Um, yeah, I don't know how many of you actually are confused by that, but if you did, that that's the reasoning behind it. So we can continue this by a simple equation. I, I know a lot of people actually have different ways of deriving this equation or whatnot using like the, the integration factor or whatever, but I, generally uh, what uh, my ideology is that we're going to be working against the clock in our exams. So you want to be as fast as possible while solving all these. So I just go directly to the formula rather than um, substituting anything. So the generic formula is u of t is equal to e integral, negative integral, of p dt multiplied by e, oh, integral e of a positive integral of p to the dt multiplied by r to the t dt plus c. Now, all we're going to be doing here is subbing in these um, p to the x and r px and rx uh, functions that we basically defined over here, uh, and just subbing them in for the p and the r. And obviously, our equation is going to be y to the x because that's what we're looking for. And uh, so basically all the, u, the u's being substituted by the y, the t's are being substituted by the x. So we can rewrite this whole equation as, uh, to suit our initial equation as e to the negative integral of 2 dx multiplied by integral of e to the positive dx times e to the negative x dx plus c. Now, this is qu 
quite an easy integral. Integral of 2 dx, I, I'm sure all of you know is 2x. If you don't, then yeah, you probably would want to, you really need to go through your integration if you don't know this. Um, so this would in turn equal e to the negative 2x because of that negative sign multiplied by e integral of e to the 2x multiplied by e to the negative x dx plus c now this is very simple this is just actually multiplying it this would equal e to the x which is basically because when you multiply e to the u by e to the n let's say you get the form of e to the u plus n so in this case u is 2x and n is negative x so you get an e to the x so then this would equal to e to the 2x integral will multiply by the integral of e to the x dx plus c um, very simple actually because we all well I'm hoping everyone knows this but integral of e to the u is always going to be um, e to the u I should put the du there um, using this property we can just basically assume this is going to equal e to the negative 2x multiplied by e to the x plus c. Um, here's something actually quite important to note. A lot of people uh, don't know this, but when if you do decide to multiply this out, you cannot, uh, e times negative 2x times c does not mean that, does not equal c because this function cannot be absorbed by c due to the fact that there's an x there. If you add any number like 2 or a constant like e, just e alone, and you multiply it by c, then yes, you can say this is equal to c because it can get absorbed. But when you have something like e to the negative 2x, it actually affects the equation depending on the value of x, while the constant does not. So you might want to keep that in mind. So when we actually go ahead and um, multiply this out, you will get e to the negative. Uh, two, uh, negative x plus e to the negative 2x and we leave the c there you see because we, we don't know the product of this so c is going to act as its coefficient so now that's our final equation actually uh, right for now we were given an initial condition so I, I will go ahead and solve for that let me just get rid of the well I could get rid of this part So now that we've gotten this as our equation, we can go ahead and note that we were told that at y0, the equation y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0. So we can go ahead and sub that, substitute that in right there. So you get y0 is equal to e to the negative 0, which is 0, plus e to the 0 times c. Um, this will obviously mean uh, this gives you 0 plus 1 well yeah sorry about that 0 is equal to 1 plus c so c is equal to negative 1 now all we need to do for the final answer would be sub that negative 1 into the c we have here which basically gives you the equation of e to the power of negative x minus e to the power of negative 2x as your final equation. That's how you solve question number one. So again, the reason I've been using this is because I'm going to actually leave a link on the sidebar that explains why we, how to derive this method really well. It's actually someone I'd recommend everyone should watch for help in math. He's, he's really good. His name's Patrick, Patrick JMT actually. And uh, he has a lot of tutorials basically on how to do most of these well not questions in specific but uh, how to do uh, basic general topics you'll, you'll cover so let's move